Hi, it's Graham here at Crestron, and today I'm going to take you through the unboxing of this new product I've just had delivered. So let's see what's in the box. So first up, I have a cable for the uh, monitor. So this is an actor converter cable, display port to HDMI, uh, six feet, um, two meter cable. So this is for your screen for the front of the room. Then we have a network cable. So this is your um, cable, two meters again for your computer or your UC engine. Then we have this uh, extension cable, and this is for the audio. So when it comes from the compute to your uh, device, and you can extend it up to 4.6 meters. We then have a PoE injector cable. So this is a 20 foot, six meter cable. And then we have the content sharing cable. So HDMI to HDMI. And this is again, 20 feet, six meter cable. Also, we have a, a HDMI EDID emulator. Now this is, solves issues when displays go to sleep. So this is connected at the uh, screen end. We now have the Hudley IQ Lite cable. So this is six feet, two meter cable for the camera, USB three, so you must use this cable. And then we have the Hudley IQ Lite camera itself. So that's the little camera in there. And next up, we have the wall mount bracket. So if you want to wall mount this uh, camera, there's a metal wall mount bracket in there, or you can place the camera on top of the cable if you want. So then finally in the box, we have this new little uh, device called the MM30. Now this is available in three modes, uh, Teams Audio, Microsoft Teams Room, uh, or uh, Zoom Room. So we've got a bit of paper in there telling us about it. We then have the um, PoE inline injector. So if you don't have PoE Plus as a network cable, uh, you can use this adapter uh, to give it power. And also in the box, uh, we have a thin network cable for the um, MM30, and that's to uh, connect either to the network or into the injector. And we also have the USB 2A uh, to micro uh, USB, 1.8 meter, and that's for the audio. And then finally, we have the MM30 itself. So you may have heard of it known as the Mercury Mini, but it is the MM30, is the official name. And there we have, we have a seven inch touchscreen nice little device we have here uh, nice profile very sleek on the desk and on the underside we have the network port we have the micro USB port and we also have a Kensington lock so if you need to uh, lock it down and also we have cable grooves to keep the cables tidy as well and then let's just clear out the desk quickly uh, just speed up the uh, clip here and let's see what it looks like against the original Mercury so here we have the Mercury that we've uh, known and love. And here it is side by side from a few different angles. Just so you can see the size difference. So it's, you know, 40% smaller. And it's just a great device. Next up, the second box that is shipped with the MM30 is what we call the UC Engine. And this is the compute. Um, Windows 10 IoT and this version is actually the Microsoft Teams version. There is also a Zoom Room version. When you order the audio only version of the MM30, obviously you, you don't get the compute. So this is the uh, Windows 10 IoT Nook or compute that uh, we ship. And it's all sealed up in here so we'll just open this up now. First up we have the USB to Ethernet dongle. So this is, allows you to directly connect the uh, MM30 to the compute. So that means you don't need two network ports in the room, you just need a single network port. And that's really easy then for a uh, quick and easy setup. So here we have some ports covered up and they're covered with a Phillips screwdriver. So we'll just uh, undo that now. And also just below us, we have the uh, power supply. So that's again secured down. So under here, we have some uh, more USB ports, such as for the camera, the MM30 audio, if you have a front of room touch screen, and maybe if you want to leave a mouse uh, and keyboard that's wireless in the room, potentially. So I'm just going to put the screw back in now for safekeeping whilst I'm testing. Um, so this is a nice thing to have. Again, you can change that screw from Phillips to a special head if you want it to be really secure, and now I can get to it. 
So just on the other side, uh, we have the power supply coming in here, and obviously we have the USB adapter uh, to Ethernet, and then we have some more USB ports. So again, lots for future use, and we have our HDMI cable, so you can plug into your monitor, and we also have the LAN cable. All nice and neat with some cable ties, so you can all be secured. Thanks for watching.